Now today's video, I'm going to be talking about Gordon Hayward. Now just recently, he officially got his plates and screws removed from his leg. So he is now capable of moving faster and longer. But at the same time, he still is not 100%. He still got to take everything step by step. I just want to talk to you guys about Gordon Hayward's game and just explain to you guys how by the time he returns next season, he will be a completely different player. Now first, we all know Gordon Hayward had one of the most tragic injuries in sports history. And right after that injury, he was automatically ruled out for the entire season because there's no way in the world he could return this season after having that injury. And it was just a major pushback for Gordon Hayward just because he literally played for the Utah Jazz last year and he was averaging 21 points a game shooting 47 field goal percentage. He was an all-star for the Utah Jazz. Then he signed to the Boston Celtics to a max deal. Then right when he finally returns to the team and he finally gets to play his first regular season game, he gets injured. So it really was a major pushback and I know it really messed him up physically and mentally just because he was ready to play. He was ready to play on his new team and play alongside with Kyrie Irving. The only reason I say Gordon Hayward will be a completely different player once he returns next season is because one, he currently is still in therapy. He's literally been in therapy throughout the entire season. And to remind you guys once again, Gordon Hayward had screws in place in his leg for about eight months. He just got it taken out just now. So just like he probably is about 50% right now. But even if his body is 100%, just know his mind would not be 100% because he will forever hold back. He's going to do whatever it takes to prevent that same injury from happening. And that's to every single player that gets in an injury like this. They will do whatever they can to prevent the same injury to happen. So I'm not saying Gordon Hayward is not going to play how he used to play. He's still going to ball out. He still can shoot the ball very well. But just know he's going to be holding back a lot because he do not want to have this injury once again. And it's just like it's so risky. When you look at Gordon Hayward's injury, he was going up for a lob and he fell on his leg and broke his leg. You never know anything could happen. And it's just like that little simple thing messed up his career basically i'm not saying he's not going to be the same player but it's just like it messed up a lot of things for gordon hayward man right after this injury it really messed him up and he's getting older and stuff like that so it's just like he got so much he got to adjust to with his body and he got so much in the back of his head after this injury just know man it's not just physically it's mentally too man basketball is a physical and mental game but the thing about gordon hayward is that he can score so many ways this man is a gifted player on the basketball court he can shoot the ball very well he know how to score multiple ways he can get in the paint he know how to drive in and finish contact layers because he is a big guy he's about six eight six nine and he got some size on him so gordon hayward he's an outstanding player and he know how to pass the ball really good too but I just feel like Gordon Hayward, he will hold back on trying to dunk the ball a lot and trying to catch lobs and all that athletic stuff just because he know how his leg is. And once you go through therapy, you're learning so much about your body. It's helping you physically and mentally. It literally keeps you cautious on what to do and what not to do on a basketball court just because once you're in the game, it's easy to forget about certain things. Definitely when you're playing competition and you're playing competitive, so it's just like going through therapy it really do helps you and remind you guys gordon hayward best season was last year he was only averaging 21 points a game he's an all-star but he's not a superstar so if he was a healthy guy averaging 21 points a game now he broke his leg and he's coming back to the league i don't think he'll be averaging 21 points a game i might be wrong but at the same time i just feel like he's holding back so he might probably average at least 15 points a game next year i'm not sure i could be wrong but that's just my opinion but we just got to see but i think you guys are watching if you make sure you like and subscribe make sure you press that notification button and take a game we out